What's that for? Just to keep you honest. Where are you hurt? Chest. Broken ribs, I guess. How'd it happen? Rattlesnake spoke my horse. Fell on me, ran off. I've been crawling on this hard ground for hours. I'm done in. Then I'll get you to a doctor. No, no, I don't live far from here. You get me home, my missus will take care of me. Where is it? Not far. Oak Meadows. Uh, I think you'd be better off with a doctor. this man down the road. He's badly hurt. Said he lived here at Oak Meadow and his wife would take care of him. You his wife? Take him into town. He's better off with a doctor. Well, he's almost unconscious. It'd be too rough a trip for him. Well, he's your husband. You want him dead? Said his horse fell off. He's got a couple of busted ribs. Nothing too serious, but he's got a lot of pain. What do you intend to do with him? Well, I'm going to try to help him if I can. I'll need some strips of cloth to bind up that chest, a little whiskey to help kill the pain. Oh, you do want to help him, don't you? There's some old sheets I can tear up. The whiskey's on that shelf. <laughs> from San Francisco a little less than a year ago. <laughs> it was a rough change for her. Yeah, I bet it was. You know, it's, it's easy. Easy for a man, for Anne. A lot different. She, she wasn't, wasn't up to the change. Made her sort of, sort of hard. Let's see if you can get that shirt up a little bit, will you? Then we can wrap him up. have a chance to thank you. I, I do now. I'm glad I came along. My name's Grant. Matthew Grant. That's my, my wife, Ann. Uh, Adam Cartwright. 
Cartwright? The Ponderosa? Will you stop turning? It's hard enough to do. You uh, familiar with the Ponderosa? Who isn't? It's the richest, largest spread this side of the Rockies. It's, um, it's getting kind of late. How about staying for dinner? Well, I, uh, wouldn't want to put you in any trouble. I'm used to trouble. You're welcome to stay. Oh, I would appreciate a warm meal. You can stable your horse out in the barn. Well, that and the whiskey ought to get you through the night, all right. I guess the rest is up to you, ma'am. Thanks. I'll uh, take care of my horse. I'll be right back. Why did you come back? That's my wife for you. I sure know where to come for sympathy. Never mind that. Remember, you're talking to me. How could I forget it? And, and I, I made a mistake. I, I should never have brought you here from San Francisco. I'm not talking about San Francisco. Now I'm asking you why you came back. Where else would I go? This is my home. I, I'm hurt. Not your home. It's a place you could drop your coat. Till you, till you get bored, we settle this before you left. Suppose I, I told you I was wrong. <laughs> How often have I heard that? Anne, believe, Anne. Please believe. What are we up to this time? Leave it alone, Anne. Leave it alone. Me. Last time you left was supposed to be for good. Why should I miss you? Here's one reason. Why do you fight me, Anne? You know we love each other. It's loaded. Wouldn't do any good if it was empty. Got a point there. I hope you don't intend to use it. I will if I have to. Uh, gotta put my hands down now. What's your name? Jody Grant. Uh, I lied to you. This isn't loaded. Pa would blister me good. If it was, and he wasn't here. Well, your pa taught you good. You know my pa? Yeah, met him today. It's up at the house. My pa? Yeah. My pa's home? That's right. <laughs> Oh, your dad got banged up a little bit, that's all. Poor Shy threw him. Bruised a couple of ribs. That dumb horse. I hope you whacked him good. I will when he gets home. Now sit down here and tell me. You've been taking care of your ma while dad's away? He had to. He's the only man in the house. Well, then, uh, in that case, uh, there's a little package over there in my coat. Go get it for me, will you? The other one, son. That's right. You open it. It's for you. For me, Pa? Hmm? It's pretty, Pa. It's the prettiest thing I've ever seen. Uh, it's sharp as a razor, too. So don't 
Don't you go slicing off any fingers. I'll be careful, and I'll keep it with me all the time. And, Pa, I'm glad you're back. Pa says this is sharp as a razor. Ain't you glad he's back? Well, come on in. Everything all right? Fine. I, uh... Barred a little hay from a horse, all right? Well, sure, sure. Oh, this, uh, this is my son, Jody. Oh, yeah, we met. I'll get dinner. It's pot roast. Leftover. Sounds pretty good. As usual, we're out of wood. Well, look, just tell me where it is. I'll be glad to get it for you. Oh, it's, uh, it's round and back. Uh, Jody? Oh, sure, Pa. I'll show him. Good. Lead the way. Thank you. Much left. Pa's been gone a while, and we've used most of what we've had. Yeah, Axe is kind of dull. Could use a little honing. Hey, hey, hey. Pa said he'd get to it the first chance he got. Hey, no, no, no. That's, that's no way to cut wood. Didn't your pa ever teach you how to chop wood? Of course he did. I... I forgot, that's all. Well, you cut it with the grain like this, see? Why don't you take this new knife of yours and, uh... Would have left some chips, maybe, huh? Mrs. Grant, that's one of the best meals I've ever had. Thank you. Nice to cook for a good appetite. This is uh, quite a way from the Ponderosa, Mr. Cartwright. What brings you out here? I was looking for some of our cattle. We well, over here? I know the Ponderosa's big, but it doesn't spread this far. No, our land doesn't, but it looks like some of our cows do. What are you getting at, Mr. Cartwright? I think he means that uh, some of the Ponderosa cattle were rustled. Yeah, about 30 head. I was uh, following their trail when I came across your husband. Gosh, Pa. 30 head. Do you think we'll ever have that many? Oh, that's not so many, Jody. Just a drop in the bucket to Ponderosa. Whoever the rustlers were, they weren't very smart. They left about 150 head up there on the mesa. You'd better guard them, Mr. Cartwright. Prime beef brings top dollar. Some men figure it's uh, worth the risk. Man gets caught, he's hanged. Somehow I can't quite see that it's worth the risk. about that window 100 times. All right, I'll, I'll start fixing tomorrow. And what makes you think you'll be able to move tomorrow? So we'll hire some help. You know we can't afford to do that. Then it'll just wait until I can get around. Look, I'm sure Mr. Cartwright doesn't want to hear our troubles. Why don't you stay and help us? That young man just earned you a trip to your room. Well, why, Pa? He can chop wood like anything. I know he can fix the barn. That's enough, Jody. I said get to your room. No, no, wait a minute. The boy has a point. Winter's coming on, and it can get kind of rough up here. Now, you laid up the way you are, it's, it's going to be pretty uncomfortable. No, really, I'd like to help out. Ah, uh, no, no, you've got your own work to do. Well, I think the Ponderosa can get along without me for a few days. It isn't right. Jody's put you in a position where it's pretty hard to refuse. No, well, I'm offering my help because I want to. But it's, uh, it's your decision, Matt. It's a chance to get the barn fixed. All right, all right. You can bed down in the barn, and you better get him some blankets. Good. Now, I'm going to need a couple of hands to help me, and so uh, how would you like to be my helper? I'll pay you 25 cents a day. 25 cents a day? You bet I would. All right, now we've got to get a bright and early start right after breakfast. Best you will get to bed now, Jody. It'll be a full day tomorrow. Good night, Pa. Good night, son. Thanks for the knife. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sleep with it right under my pillow. Good night, Adam. Hi, Jody.
hope he'll be comfortable. Looks fine to me. Tell you, Mrs. Grant, uh, does your husband work in town? Why do you ask? Oh, well, he seems to be gone from the place a great deal. What makes you say that? General condition of the property. My husband hasn't felt it necessary to tell me where he goes when he leaves here. Sorry, I didn't mean to pry. No harm done. Long way from San Francisco, isn't it? I'm a long way from San Francisco, Oroville, Sonora, a lot of other places. My husband had a dream of being a wealthy rancher. His enthusiasm lasted about six months. I suppose I should be grateful. It's longer than most of his dreams have lasted. Forgive me, I didn't mean to talk about my troubles. Well, sometimes it's good to talk things out. Well, if you need anything, let us know. Good night. Uh, Mrs. Grant, uh, do you like it here? Very much. So does Jody. It's the first place we thought of as home. That's important to you, isn't it? A home for myself, a home for my child. It's important to any woman, Mr. Cartwright. Well, don't worry. Things usually work out if you want it enough. Sure. Sure they do. Good night, Mr. Cartwright. Good night. I give it a try. Works slicker than wet mud. Yeah, Jody, looks like we got company. How you doing? And how's that fine-looking ma of yours? Are you the hired hand? Helping out for a few days. Place looks good. Better than I ever seen it. Is your pa in? You better learn some manners, boy. You're apt to lose a few strips of your hide. Uh, simmer down, Chad. You can get a brood of your own, raise them as you see fit. Is Grant in? Yeah, he's in the cabin. particular reason for behaving the way you did? I've got a good reason. I don't like them. They come to visit your pa's at the time he usually goes away? Yeah, every time. Ever tell you and your ma where he's going? Why should he? Think a lot of your pa, don't you? He's the best man in the whole world. Enough said. See, we can't get this fence fixed. Can I hammer some of the nails in? Well, you play your cards right, you can hammer all the nails in, and I'll just sit and watch. You do, and you'll have to raise my pay to 30 cents a day. I was afraid you'd say that. Hey, hold it a minute. Forget it. You're just asking for trouble. Yeah, that's the kind of trouble I like. Come on. Well... Uh. If it isn't my two best friends. I can see you made it, man. Yeah, sure. I know it, uh, it troubled you guys a lot to leave me out there alone with a couple of uh, busted ribs. Of course it did. We stopped to help, those cows would have scattered and we'd have lost them. But Chad's right, Matt. The whole night would have been wasted. Besides, we knew you'd be able to take care of yourself. Yeah. Now, what about those stolen cows? All delivered, nice and neat. 30 head at $50 a piece. That's 1,500 split three ways. There's your share. 500. 
Better to make those ribs feel better, huh? <laughs> Who's that you got working for you? His name's Adam. Adam Cartwright. What? You mean he? Yeah. The man whose cows we stole. What's he doing out there? That steer hooked my horse and threw me. He found me, brought me home. Why is he still here? Just helping out until I get back on my feet. Listen, Matt. Why do you think a rich man like, like Adam Cartwright would play hired hand to you? Because he's that kind of a man. You helped us wrestle those Cartwright cattle. Adam Cartwright shows up at your ranch. He stays here. You think it's just to fix your fences for you? He's, um... He's got no reason to link me with those stolen cows. Maybe not. But it ain't healthy. Besides, his being here can foul up our big deal. What big deal? There's 150 head of Cartwright cattle still waiting for us on the Upper Mesa. Look, I know that. You guys must be loco, twice in a row. That's the beauty of it. Everybody will think the same thing. Except for one Cartwright. The one out there. Listen, man, even if he doesn't suspect you're the first job, and I think he does, we can't afford to take any chances. He knows us. He knows you. He's liable to put two and two together after the job's over with. No. No, he'll, uh, he'll be leaving soon. That ain't good enough, Matt. Mr. Cartwright's got to leave permanent. What's that you say? You heard me. Are you asking me to murder a man? Make it look like an accident. Like he got hurt. You may be looking too close at that wife of yours. <laughs> She's mighty tempting. That's enough. Now listen, Matt. I don't care how you do it. You gotta get rid of Cartwright before we pull the job. That's on Tuesday. Listen, you got two choices. Us or jail. Don't you try to run out on us. I promise you, we'll be quicker than jail. Tuesday. Gun pretty good in spite of those ribs. It's quite a boy you got there. You're a lucky man, Matt. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Adam, how about you trying to knock him over? Well, I don't know. I'm a little out of practice. Let's see if you're as good as Pa. Pa knocked down four out of six. Didn't you, Pa? Go ahead. Give it a try. Why not? Six for six. You're better than Pa. Of course, he's not feeling so good. Jody's right. You did better. Did you ever have to shoot anyone at him? Did you? Yeah but only when there was no other way out. I'm going to learn how to handle a gun like you do, Adam. Then nobody better fool around with me. <laughs> Jody, gun's only a tool, just like your jackknife. Now, it's no better, no worse than the man who handles it. Any man can pull a trigger. It's not hard. But it takes a big man not to pull one. I'm ready to go into town. You said you'd drive me. Oh, good, Ma. I'll go hitch up the team. Well, I, I can't. I, I don't feel up to it yet. Matthew, we have to have supplies. The ranch doesn't run itself. I said I can't. I'm not up to it. I'd be glad to drive you in, Mrs. Grant. I can manage alone. I've done it before. 
Well, I was planning on going into town today anyway. Thank you. I could use the help. Give Jody a hand. My, my ribs still ache. I, uh, I don't think it's worth taking a chance. I agree. You'd be a fool to take a chance. Well, son, what are you doing in town? Did you expect to find the cattle here? Something came up. I got sidetracked. I thought you were supposed to be on them rustlers' trail. What happened? I lost it. Lost it? What have you been doing for the past few days? Well, I came across his family. A man was hurt. They couldn't afford help, so I agreed to stay on a while. Well, it's very generous of you. Probably very good for them, but uh, how about your own family's problems? Well, how much longer will you be with them? Any time now. The man's almost well. Better make it today. Our plan's almost set. You mean the 150 head up on the Mesa? Yeah, the bait. Perhaps ready to be snapped shut. Anyway, I'll go on back tonight, pack and get out, and I'll join you later. You better get going. Little Joe's waiting for us at the Mesa. Yeah, see you there. Jody. He's inside there trying to make up his mind between jelly beans and jawbreakers. Well, I'll see if I can't hurry him up a little bit. Sure is fond of you. You've been very good for him. He's a fine boy. I'll miss him. Miss him? What do you mean? Well, I'm leaving tonight. Your husband can manage the ranch now. There's no point in my staying. We'll miss you too, Adam. I never forget what you've done for us. It's my pleasure. Yeah, let me help you. Good afternoon, Mr. Grant. Nice day, huh? Is, uh, is your husband with you? No. Well, uh... Would you uh, give him a message for us? Uh, just remind him today's Tuesday. I'll tell him nothing. You leave us alone. Stay out of our lives. Now, you don't really mean that, ma'am. I mean, after all, you and your boy got to eat, haven't you? What's that got to do with you? Well, your husband gave you money for these supplies, didn't he? Where do you think he got it? I don't know what you mean. All right, Mrs. Innocent. I'll tell you what we mean. The money you just spent came from cattle. Stolen by your husband and us from the Cartwrights. Oh, no. Yeah, and tonight he's going with us again. Where do you think you're going? To tell the sheriff? What are you going to tell him? That we're rustlers along with your husband? Let me go. Let go of me. You're hurting me. Get go of me. Get back, kid. Do as the boy says. Jody, stand aside. I won't tell you again, mister. You want to play hero? You'll be a dead one. You can't get us both. Maybe not. But I can get you. <sighs> Never met a woman yet worth killing over. Good afternoon, ma'am. Chad back down underneath dirt. 
Jody, I don't think I want to hear any more about it. And when they left, Adam just stood there as calm as if nothing had happened. Don't you understand, boy? I said I didn't want to hear any more about it. Matthew, please. Please what? I've had a belly full of Adam Cartwright. You understand that? We don't have to worry about Adam anymore. He's leaving. He's in the barn now, saddling his horse. Jody, I think you better go to your room. Sorry, Paul, if I said anything wrong. Don't you understand him? He's just a small boy. He's prone to hero worship. I'm his father. The way he's acted since Cartwright's been here, I, I could just as well be a total stranger. You've been a stranger a lot longer than that. Where are you going? Out. I'll be gone for a few days. You can say my goodbyes for me. Matthew, I don't want you to go. I have to go. It's important. And it can mean a lot to us. It can mean a lot more if you stay. What are you talking about? I never asked you for anything, but I'm asking you now. Please don't leave. This will be the last time, I promise you. When I get back, everything will be different. Living like this, nothing. I can start being a father to Jody. Give him the things he wants. You can't buy your son's love. You've got to earn it. I'll earn it. After tonight. I've asked you as a favor to me. Please don't go. I'm telling you I have to go. Now let's have no more nonsense about it. You're a thief. What did you say? I said you're a thief. I know all about you and your friends. I ran into them in town today. They, they told me about you. I know where you're going. I know what you're planning to do. So you know. How could you? How could you steal from the man who saved your life? And I've got to do this. I'm hooked with these two men. Besides, that money will give us another chance. We've got a chance right here on this land. We don't need that kind of money. What good are those steers to the cart rides? Nothing. And it'll be a new life for us. We started new lives three times, and every time the going got rough, you ran away. That's what you're doing again. This will be the last time. I swear it. I've forgiven you time after time after time after time because I loved you. But if you do this thing, don't come back because there'll be no love left. And don't say that. And, and I, I love you. I need you. It won't work anymore. Let go of me. Anne. Take your hands off me. All right. I should never have come back. <gasps> and no, don't you touch even... me! Don't you ever touch me again! He said he's going into town. They were fighting, Adam. It scared me. They never talked that way before. He, he hit her. Well, you, you 
you just stay here and I'll go take a look, all right? Adam, my paw, he isn't bad, is he? Nah, Jody, he... He might have done a bad thing, but he's, he's not bad. Now, you just stay here. Come on. Tell me about the quarrel. Sorry. Did he tell you what it was about? No. What's wrong? Those cattle that were stolen from you, Matthew, was part of it. You knew that, didn't you? Yeah, I suspected it. You still gave him the benefit of the doubt. Why? I thought he was worth it was once those men who came here they're gonna do it again they're gonna take your cattle that's where matthew's gone i know we we're expecting the second raid my family and i have a trap set for him they'll be shooting killing i'm afraid so Do you want me to try and stop your husband? If I do, it still means prison for what he's done. Please. Like Jody, I love him. I want him alive. Jody! He's going after his father. Uh, I'll, I'll bring him both back. What's the matter? What are you doing here? Please don't go. Please don't. What are you talking about? I heard you and Ma fighting. Please don't go. Ma doesn't want you to go. Jody, you... You shouldn't have come after me. What I have to do is beyond your understanding. I want you to get back on your horse and go home. Pa, I want to stay with you. Please. Jody, what I do, I, I do for you and your mother. Now go on. Go on home. Oh, Jody. I told you I'm going to put you back on your horse and you're going home. Now, come on. Grant? I'm taking you back. The both of you. Go home, Jody. The boy stays. I said I'm taking you both back. You're not going to stop me. You said anyone can pull a trigger, but it takes a big man not to pull one. If you want to shoot me, you'll shoot me in the back. We'll see how big a man you are.
All right, get on your horse. I'm taking you home. Give it up, Matt. It's no use. Jody. You don't have to do this, Matt. It's all over as far as I'm concerned. Hear that, Pa? You don't have to give yourself up. Adam won't say anything. I know that, Jody, but... Uh... Now, when you did wrong, I punished you, didn't I? Yes, Pa. And it was forgotten, and we started fresh. Well, I've done something wrong, I know it. Your mom knows it, you know it. I've got to face up to my punishment. Start fresh. Do you understand? Good. Now, now you, uh, you take good care of your mom. I will, Paul. I promise. Hey, Jody, give me a hand with those horses, will you? Well, then, will you mind waiting? It shouldn't be more than a year. It'll... It'll be right next time. I know what I have now. You know where you have a friend? I know. Thanks. Goodbye. Well, Adam, 
They missed it. Those two rustlers walked right into the trap. Yep. Too bad they tried to find their way out. Who's that? It's a man that's walking in instead of being carried. I'll tell you about it on the way home. <laughs> <laughs>